Hey, what's up guys? Mike Redfox here. In this video, we're going to unbox this GeForce RTX 3060. So I already know what you're asking, Mike. Why did you buy this card? It's uh, limited for crypto mining. And you're right. Um, Yet here it is, the things I do for you guys. So this is a RTX 3060. It does have a crypto limiter installed. Um, so it'll do about half the hash rate it could on Ethereum, I think ETC hash, and I think vert hash I saw as well. But what we're gonna do is get this unboxed, test it out on Ravencoin, Conflux, it's pretty profitable, Zcoin, AKA Firo, and uh, maybe you see some others, but what I got to do first is figure out where the heck I'm going to put this thing because my test bench, as you guys saw, is full of 3070s. So that's not going to work. And everything in here is full. So what I think I'm going to do once I get this opened up is put it in my old PC here that's got my 1080 in it. Uh, and we'll test it out in there. So let's get this thing opened and uh, we'll check it out. This is the Gaming X MSI, and it's like the most expensive 3060. I think it was like $500. I got it on New Egg Shuffle. I got selected. So I figured, you know, what the heck, might as well. It'll give me an excuse to mine something besides Ethereum. So let's check it out here. What do we got? Okay, that is ESD bag, and there you go. So, actually, I was curious to see. This thing's got an 8 pin and a 6 pin. I wonder what these come with minimal, minimally. I wonder if they probably come with like a single 8 pin, but. Check it out, check it out. Uh, nothing special from what I can see. So we're gonna get this thing put in uh, my old PC over there. We'll slot it up either in replacing that 1080 or next to that 1080. And we're gonna get it hash in and we'll see what we get. So let's do it. All right guys, got the MSI RTX 3060 installed in my PC here next to my GTX 1080. So kind of poetic, that's my first mining card I ever had next to the newest mining card I've ever had. So let's get started mining on this and see what it's made of. Now, you guys probably know that Ethereum is not an algorithm you wanna be mining, a coin you wanna be mining with this card because Nvidia made the decision to limit it to get it in the hands of gamers. Uh, that's okay, we're gonna find some other coins to mine, some other algorithms that are definitely still profitable, see what kind of performance we get overall for this card. And maybe at the end of this video, you decide if this card pops up, if it's one that you want to invest in. So I spent some time with it, figured out some overclocks, and here's what I've got so far. My power limit is all the way down because I'm really worried about efficiency. Uh, you can absolutely run it full tilt if you wanted to, but you're going to pay more in electric versus what it's bringing in. So finding a good efficiency is always good. And core clock, I got 275, mem clock's up at 1600, and my fan I got locked at 80% just to keep it nice and cool since it's running right next to the 1080, and they'll both be mining in there. There's just not a lot of airflow happening in there. So these overclocks seem to be pretty good universally for all the coins I'm gonna show you. You might have to tweak here and there if you're getting invalid shares or incorrect shares or any crashes. But overall, this will be a pretty good spot to land on uh, if you have this specific GPU. And so let's check it out, let's get started. So we're gonna use T-Rex Miner for the first couple coins that we're gonna mine here. And let's start with our old favorite Raven coin. So this is T-Rex Miner, we're gonna start mining Raven coin with the GPU power limited down to 60 and those overclock set. And we'll see what kind of hash rates we get. And then I'll let all of these run for a while and just uh, bring together what the hash rates are and see what's gonna be most profitable. So let's check out Ravencoin. So Ravencoin may be our savior if Ethereum can't get their act together and uh, figure out another 
way to go besides the IP1559. So we'll see what happens there. So we're generating the DAG. All right, so the GPU is doing a little bit of work now. We got, what, 17.7 mega hash per second, 17.72 mega hash per second. There's one thing that I remember about the Ravencoin algorithm is that you got to let it mine for just a little while to see what kind of average hash rate you're going to get because it can fluctuate quite a bit. But looking pretty good already, 17.72 mega hash. So let's move on from there. And we're going to go to, let's do Firo. Uh, otherwise previously known as Zcoin. And if you don't know about Zcoin slash Firo, they've been around for, for quite a while and you can run nodes on their network. If you have, I think it's a thousand Firo, uh, you can run a node. Uh, this is a coin I've mined on and off for a long time uh, and has always done quite well for me. So let's see what this 3060 can do on Firo. All right, so we got some work being put in on Firo, and you can see we're about 2,400 kilohash per second, uh, or I guess that would be 2.4 mega hash on that. So looking pretty good there. So let's go ahead and kill that one. And we're gonna do our last coin on T-Rex. And for that, I believe uh, we're gonna be doing Conflux. So let's get that going. Conflux is a coin that's Pretty new to me. I think I missed the train on this one when it first started, but we'll see what kind of hash rate we get on it and see if it's uh, at all profitable to mine on this GPU. All right, so we got some work coming in on Conflux on the Octopus algorithm. You can see we're hitting 36.1 mega hash per second. So looking good there too. I'm gonna kill this one and we're gonna start moving over to G minor. You can see the temperatures of the card, by the way, 42 degrees. Looking pretty good. Uh, so here, we're gonna start mining Zell over on G Miner. Uh, Zell is near and dear to my heart. I was there for this project launch and I've been mining this on and off for years and years and years at this point. Uh, they also have uh, Zell nodes. So if you collect you know, a certain amount of Zell for mining or buying, you can run a node on their network uh, and get paid to support their network by running a Zell node. So really cool project, highly recommend you guys check it out. So let's see what kind of performance we get on the RTX 3060 on Zell. All right, we got a few shares accepted on Zell now. Looks like we're hitting around 33 sol per second. Uh, and that seems to be increasing here. So like I said, I'll let that run for longer and see what we average out to and I get those numbers to you a little later on in this video. Uh, but those overclocks seem to be working so far for Zell. So let's Go ahead and switch over to the last coin that we're going to mine, uh, and that's Cortex. Let's check out Cortex here using G Miner. See what we get. All right, been mining on Cortex here for a little bit, and you can see we're getting about 2.4 graphs per second. And that's going to be the last coin that I'm interested in knowing the hash rates for for uh, this RTX 3060. There's definitely other coins out there, but as far as what seems to be profitable. Um, and coins I'm personally interested in, that's gonna be the last one. So those are the five. So what I'm gonna do now is let all of those run for a little while with those overclocks, make sure everything's stable. Then we'll get all the numbers together for their efficient performance. And we're gonna check on what to mine to see what the profitability is. All right, I let all of those run for about a day or so. And um, here we are on my Discord, by the way. You should come, you should come hang out, link is in the, description below, but you can see all the numbers that I've hit for the RTX 3060 performance. Uh, what we're going to focus on right now is the uh, efficient performance settings. And what I've done is I've put all of that into what to mine here, and we're going to see where our profitability lines up for this GPU that cannot mine Ethereum. Uh, so as of right now, you can see Firo is the most profitable. So you'd be taking home about $2.74 a day after a 10 cent electric rate. And then Conflux is next up. Uh, not too bad, about 50 cents less profitable than Firo. But still, overall, um, looking pretty good, guys, considering you can't mine Ethereum. And then the other thing I did is Cortex uh, isn't listed on the main page of what to mine. So they have it here. I've put in the hash rate that I'm getting with the power that I'm getting. 
uh, with the cost of this GPU as well. And we're gonna go ahead and hit calculate on that. And we're gonna see that actually Cortex is the most profitable coin that I can find to mine on this GPU that has somewhat decent volume. And you will take home four, over a little over $4 in profit a day mining on an RTX 3060. So what that means then is that your break even if you bought this GPU and this GPU need to pay for it needed to pay for itself your break even would be in 122 days which is still fantastic considering the place that we were in just a few months ago in GPU mining. So I think that's it guys. That's the RTX 3060. It is limited in Ethereum mining by Nvidia. Um, and so we got to check out what other algorithm, algorithms it can mine on. And those are the ones that I wanted to check out. If there's something that you think is more profitable or worth investigating, leave a comment in uh, the comment section down below. And please check out my Discord. Come hang out with us. Share what your knowledge. Ask some questions. Uh, there's a good group in there doing some giveaways as well. And I think that's what I got for you in this video. So please take care of yourself. Take care of each other, and I'll see you guys in the next video.